banana plant fruits only once, raising the question what happens to the many plants afterward? They become agro waste, a major concern in banana producing states. To tackle this, the Northeast Center for Technology Application and Reach, Nectar, an autonomous body under the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India, promotes tech-driven sustainable development in Northeast Bharat. Nectar is implementing a big project under Ministry of Donor, under the scheme called PMD Vine. Under this project, we are implementing, basically, we are trying to use the 100% utilization of pseudo stems of banana, which is basically at this moment considering as a waste material. So under this project, we'll have 12 different plants in entire Northeast. So each plant will have three common products. Number one product is banana fiber. Number two is liquid fertilizer. And number three is biomass. Along with this, also we are trying to use some value-added product using the indigenous technology which are developed in our country itself. One product is vegan leather, which is a game-changing product. It will also make a huge impact to the Satchata program of the country. Under the Ministry of Donor, Prime Minister's Development Initiative for the Northeast Region, PM Divine, Nectar has launched a pioneering project to utilize the banana pseudo stem typically discarded as agricultural waste by extracting fiber and sap from it. These components are then used to produce a range of value-added items such as biofertilizers, paper and unbelievable but true, vegan leather and other eco-friendly products. The initiative supports Bharat's vision of fostering rural entrepreneurship and women's development. Phase 1 covers six states across Assam, Nagaland, Mizoram, Tripura and Meghalaya, guiding farmers, SHGs and rural communities on banana pseudo-stem use. Six more sites are planned next. At its core, this visionary project aims to promote zero-waste circular economy, generate sustainable livelihood opportunities, encourage the growth of rural enterprises and produce eco-friendly products for both local and global markets. To achieve this objective, the initiative focuses on setting up fully operational common facility centers or CFCs, training self-help groups, SAGs and farmers and establishing robust supply chains for fiber, fertilizers and other value-added products. Laying the groundwork for a circular, self-sustaining rural economy, traditionally discarded after harvest, banana pseudo stems are now processed to their full potential. At the CFCs, trained local workers use specialized machines to extract fibers from the stem. The fibers are then sun-dried, sorted and processed into various products such as textiles, paper, rope and sheets. At the same time, the nutrient-rich sap is collected during the process and converted into organic fertilizer, which supports natural farming practices and reduces the need of chemical fertilizer. From this pseudo stem, we can extract fibers, uh, fertilizers, and it will help the woman empowerment around here. And then it will increase the rural economy and it is sustainable and eco-friendly. This initiative is currently active in six northeastern states. It has already empowered and trained over 200 rural entrepreneurs and farmers. It's a wonder of science and visionary political leadership that is transforming agricultural waste into viable economic opportunities. To support the widespread adoption of this sustainable innovation, Nectar has conducted a series of awareness and training programs across the region. From fiber extraction and biofertilizer production to composting, handmade paper and food-based products. Before, banana stem was a waste, but now it's earning money for me. Under the Ministry of Donor, the PM Divine Scheme implemented by Nectar is equipping farmers, particularly women, with the skills and knowledge to build a circular, self-reliant economy and lead the country towards a self-reliant future. BM Divine, empowering Northeast through sustainable innovation.